Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So as many of you know, I love my PXG stuff. I can't help it, I'm a little bit addicted. The bag, fairway wood, fingers crossed, might even be going for some irons. There were some new ones released just the other day and they look superb. I was fortunate enough, I hosted a fitting day not that long ago and the rep said, Joe, have a go with this. So I have the PXG Gen 5 driving iron. Now this thing looks incredible and I'm gonna hit some shots in a minute. Get an idea, is it actually any good? And is it worth the price at 329? So it's certainly not the cheapest driving iron on the market, but lots and lots of tech involved. You can see all the weighting as well on the back. And I've already hit this a few times. I have also used it on the golf course, but haven't yet made a video for you guys. And I wanted to share it with you. For those of you who know what's in my bag, um, I have a five wood that's PXG. And then also at the minute, obviously I'm carrying this. So two clubs that are very similar, about 18 degrees each, uh, both with the same shaft. So I've got a hazardous black smoke, which is the six and a half flex in both. So they're really similar clubs. Would I use the five or the two iron? Now that really would depend a lot on conditions. So for me, the two iron, much more sort of lower flight, running, much more likely to hit it off a tee. A five wood, I'd use it for approach shots into the green. Although in fairness, it's not been getting its fair use at the moment. So let's hit a few shots with this two iron. Let's get some data on it as well, see what the numbers say. But yeah, can't wait to show you guys this club. So first things first then, hitting a two iron, what are we expecting? Well, obviously we want to see a nice low flight. I want to see the ball come out nice and low. I don't want it ballooning up in the air. I also want the ball to look like when it's landing or, or falling out the sky, so we're keeping the spin rate down, it looks like it's going to hit the floor and bounce and roll for me, not stop. I don't really want this as a club to hit into a green. So let's hit a couple of shots with it. Let's see how it feels. And let's see if we're getting that nice low flight. And then also, we can speak a little bit about what the club actually feels like to use. So that was a good first shot in fairness. Nice strike. So something I found with this club, certainly from the use on the course, love the sound of it for a start. The second thing I really like is the feel. It feels incredibly soft. A lot of the clubs that I've hit before in the past make a bit of a clicky sound to them. Certainly driving irons, because a lot of them are made to sort of help you. They're quite big, quite sort of chunky. This has managed to keep a really nice slim profile, but feels so easy to use. and just really gives you confidence when you stood over the ball that actually you can hit it pretty much anywhere on the face. That felt superb. Really like that as a flight as well. Just that sort of little bit of a low riser, but it's not kicking up too much at the end. It's not too spinny. And that's the shaft as well. So the hazardous smoke black, low spin, low launch shaft, uh, 80 grams. So it is an extra stiff as well. Just help me keep the spin down. I love those. It just sounds like an iron, you know, not Clicky. That flight is just awesome. Love that. Let's hit one more. Really got in behind that one. So I guess then the really important thing as well, when you are hitting a two iron is, well, can you flight it a little bit? Can you hit that lower one if you need to? Now, obviously there's a lot of the technique involved here, but actually I'm hoping that, yes, I should be able to hit that slightly lower one. And I did actually yesterday, I was playing at um, a golf course not far from me, and there was one hole in particular. I just wanted to land the ball. It kind of got very narrow, about 210, 220 yards. So I didn't want to hit this full. I didn't want to fly it into that gap. I really wanted the ball rolling. So what I did is just knocked it down a little bit lower. Let's have a go at locking it down a little bit lower now. So just going to set up a little bit further back in the stance. Swing it a little bit more around me. You can see that that ball there just came out a fraction low, a little bit more chase on it. But the thing I've been most impressed with with this golf club is just how reactive it feels off the face. 
but also how soft at the same time. You know, the ball comes out really fast, but honestly, it feels like the ball's on there forever. Almost when I'm getting the club through to here, still feels like that ball's stuck on the face. So, superb feeling club. I absolutely love the look. Again, I'm going to do some videos that you guys would have already seen about how this thing looks, but a really, really clever, clever club overall. Now, one of the main reasons why this club feels so soft is the fact that it is five times forged. So it's extremely, extremely soft, but they are a hollow iron, so they're hollow, filled with polymer. This allows them to have the thinnest face on the market, which keeps the ball speed really high all the way across the face, which I think is really clever. Um, but yeah, superb feeling. Let's hit one more last shot with it. Just pull the diffraction, however, love the way that flight's sort of diving forwards. And you can see when it hits the ground there, just bouncing forwards as well. So let's hit a couple of shots, let's get some data on it, and we can have a look as well, is this club performing? So let's just chat about the head a little bit then. So got it here in daylight. So I say this is a demo head, so it doesn't normally have the screw in there. It's normally a fixed head. Uh, but you can see there, five times by forged, milled 0311X Gen 5. So tungsten weighting, you can see at the back, idea getting that really nice and low. Fantastic looking face in fairness, very clean, traditional looking golf club, nothing crazy going on. And the thing that a lot of people will find is just how slim that is. Really, really slim. Certainly looking down on it, there's not much mass at all at the top of the head, and I like that as a profile. You can't see any of the back of the club actually when you're addressing it, which just looks superb. As I say, you get some of these driving irons, they're quite clunky. This thing, really nice. Stands out one in the bag as well in the chrome. I believe it is also available in the black, so that would look extra saucy. But that is just an awesome looking golf club. Love that. So, there we go. So you've seen some club data. The one thing just to be really mindful when you're looking at the club data, so I've just put it up on the screen, is these range balls, the spin does vary quite a lot. I haven't found it on the golf course. I found they've been really consistent in terms of flight on the golf course, but certainly in here, the spin numbers do naturally vary quite a bit. So I'm not too concerned about the spin. What I really like though is how close all the balls were laterally. Really impressed with that. You know, getting all the balls in a relatively, relatively close proximity for me is really important with that club. Also, the ball not launching too high. It's coming out nice and low. Sometimes it's sort of five or six degrees. I have a wasp just over my shoulder. Five or six degrees, which is a really, really nice flight for me. Certainly with something like a driving iron. Being harassed by a wasp. You know, for me, is it worth the price of 329? Well, I think if you really like the look of the club, then yes, 100%. Um, if you are new to the brand and or new to a driving iron, would I recommend it straight away? It would be questionable, only because of the price. In terms of the performance, it's amazing. You're gonna get it and you're not gonna want another driving iron. But if it's a club that you're not sure you're ever gonna use, probably isn't where I'd first push you. But if you went down the route of getting fitted by the guys at PXG and they recommended the driving iron, then yes, 100%. So, in terms of the product itself, I absolutely love the fact it feels so soft off the face. I like the noise, I love the way it looks. Downside, I say a little bit obviously to do with the cost, it is the brand new Gen 5 gear. It's, it is expensive compared to the other stuff that they currently have. Um, and you can't get a Gen 4 driving iron anymore. So if you want a driving iron from PXG, that is your option. But yeah, as I say, I absolutely love the product. Am I gonna buy one in the future? 100% yes. You will be seeing one of those in my bag by the end of the year for sure. Obviously, a massive thank you to the rep for helping me out with letting me use that. Um, and yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Getting really close now to 10,000 subscribers, so fingers crossed, not long to go. Um, and if you guys have any content that you want to see, any reviews or anything, let me know. But guys, thanks so much for watching. See you all very soon.